Have you ever scared of the dark? Well, it's not surprising if you were or even if you are today because we humans are the creators of the light and uh, we are created, we have been programmed like this to avoid uh, the dangers of darkness. Well, what is darkness? Darkness means absence of light. So if there is no light, we can we say that it's dark, right? So uh, we know that we cannot see objects in darkness, right? Objects are only visible when uh, light is there in the room, right? Or if even if the light is there, objects are there, and if we close our eyes, then also we cannot see the object. So it means that answer of this question that how are things visible to us lies somewhere in a series of these questions we have uh, just shared just before some uh, few moments right so it means that um, light should be there right and the light can 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 be uh, obtained from any source whether it's artificial or a uh, natural source so suppose I, I draw uh, the natural source that is the Sun so suppose this is Sun and it is basically emitting light right uh, we uh, can also take a candle right okay right so suppose this is a candle let me write down this is a candle and oh, I forgot. This is candle. This is us. This is sun. Right. So now um, you are somewhere standing here. I mean, I'm somewhere standing here. I'm getting light from sun, and I have something in front of me. Say, suppose I have a box, right? A small box. So I have a box lying on floor. Right. And let me draw my eyes also. And imagine I have green eyes. Well, uh, I always wanted to have green eyes because they are, they look really beautiful. Okay, so let me uh, fulfill my fascination fascination uh, by just drawing it. All right. Now, what exactly happened? You know, uh, there are two things, right? So first, let let's discuss one by one. So we, I can see this object uh, if light is there. Now this light can be obtained from any source. So for example, I'm getting this light. Now the sun is emitting light in all the directions, right? So it is emitting that light here, 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 and like this, right? I can see sun. I can see the sun if, you know, uh, the light rays coming from sun are entering my eyes. So if the light ray is reaching my eyes, I can see sun. Now, how do I see an object like box? Well, the sun, uh, the, the sun rays, the light, which is, which are coming from sun, when they strike this object, they actually, uh, you know, uh, they get uh, reflected and they enter my eyes again. So after striking the object, when they enter or when they reaches our eyes, then that's how and this this is how we see objects around us. Now we could have any object in, instead of this box. I can see this marker because light rays coming from any source, for example, is striking this uh, marker and when if they are entering my eyes, I can see this marker. Right. So uh, uh, this is how we actually uh, see objects and this is how things are visible to us. Well, uh, let me uh, take a pause and let me share something very interesting. You know, guys, we discussed in sixth standard also, there are many objects, objects like, uh, there are many, uh, there are many objects, uh, there are many things which can emit light, uh, which they emit, which can emit light and light of their own, it's their, of, uh, of their own, such, such uh, objects are called as luminous objects. Right, whereas, for example, sun is a luminous object, candle is a luminous object, bulb is a luminous object, right, we have LEDs nowadays, they're, uh, they're luminous objects, all such examples are luminous objects. But if you talk about ourselves, I am non, I'm not, I am a non-luminous object because I am not emitting light of my own, but I'm just 
you know, striking the light coming from any 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 other uh, source. Right. So luminous object. Let me put down it in words. Luminous objects. And then we have non-luminous objects. Right, so luminous objects are the objects which emit light of their own. Light of their own emit light of their own and non-luminous objects they are just vice versa so they just emit their they actually strike the light coming from any other source examples of non-luminous objects can be box humans you know moon and all these are examples of non-luminous objects Right, so I hope that you got the answer of the first and basic and the most important and most, uh, you know, always uh, keep, 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 always, uh, which have been keeping us, uh, which have been kept us uh, curious. Uh, you have got the answer of that question, how things are visible to us. Uh, uh, I hope that now it's time to talk about something more interesting and let's talk about how things uh, uh, how things form shadows, right? How do we see shadows? And I remember I used to play, I used to make uh, really different, different animals using my fingers uh, uh, by concept of shadows. So if you would like to know more about it, then join me in the next video. I'll be seeing you there. Thank you so much.